Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, good people. How are you today? I hope you are always in a good condition. I mean. So, what are you doing now? Are you reading a book? Are you writing some kind of story of your life? Are you helping your mother to cook? Are you sweeping the floor? Or just watching some kind of video or movies? No matter what you're doing, the important thing is you're doing good thing in your life. While you still you can, just do it in your life. Okay, in this nice occasion, we want to talk about the several things, four things. First, we want to talk about office department and duties in a factory or a company. The second, we want to talk about job vacancy. And the third, we want to talk about CV or curriculum fighting. And the number four, and the last, we're talking about the job application letter. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we want to talk is about a company. It is about office department and duties. We have to understand this part well before we apply or join in a company. This is very important. If someone don't understand the office department in a company, it's going to be very bad and get miscommunication on it. In a company, there are many office departments that we may find it. Here they are, office department and duties or responsibilities in a company. The office department and duties. First, human resource hires new personnel. Second, research and development discovers knowledge about products, improves the products, and also creates new products. Third, information technology manages and controls the computers and network. Fourth, maintenance maintains the office and building. Fifth, finance manages payments, bills, and expenses. Sixth, marketing advertises and promotes products. Seventh, Sales, sales products. Eight, dispatch, delivers orders. Nine, production, makes products. Ten, customer service, takes care of customer's need. Okay, good people. The next thing we want to watch the video first. The video is very interesting. So, let's watch together. Hi, my name is Urtini. I am 25 years old. I am a job seeker. It's been in five years in finding a job. And now, I still get nothing. I try to apply some companies or factories and educational institution. I try to apply in several corporation. I applied in Microsoft company, Stanford University, Harvard University, and many more. I went many places to apply a job, but the result is still zero. I don't have much money. 
I eat once in a day to keep my body healthy. I work every door of company and I beg them to accept me, but again fail. I don't know what happened with me. I am a good person and no job to do. Every morning, afternoon, and evening, I try to find it. I cannot sleep well, eat well, and drink well. Ah, uh, I'm so tired. That's all about me as the job seeker. I want to be like other people, happy life and have better job. How pity I am. I need you. What should I do? Can you give suggestion? Please, I need it now. Okay, good people. Have you already seen the video? What do you think about Surtini? Surtini needs your help. So please help her with your advice and your suggestion. Come on, help her by writing your suggestion in the comment below. She tried to apply a job, just find a simple job to get some money so she can carry on her life. Finding and applying a job is not easy as we thought. It needs a trick and knowledge to apply it. So that's why we want to learn this lesson today. So, what is the definition of job actually? A job is the regular work that a person does to earn money. A job, employment, work, or occupation is a person's rule in society. More specifically, a job is an activity often regular and often performs in exchange for payment for living a person may begin a job by becoming an employee volunteering and start new business okay good people let's try to comprehend the job vacancy in English. See the example here. This and this and this. Okay, we try to analyze it. The important thing in the job vacancy that we have to focus on first is about the job. What job is needed in the job vacancy? And the second is about the requirement. What is the requirement in the job vacancy? More specifically, that you can prepare. And then the third is about the time. When should you submit your application letter? By email or post? Okay, next thing we want to talk about CV, curriculum FITI. When it comes to job hunting, CV is very important. Just get it right. You'll have an interview in no time and get it wrong, you will face rejection after rejection. Every CV is different as you want to show why your set of skill is suitable 
for the position you are playing for at the moment. What is a CV actually? Your CV, short from Curriculum Vitae, is an, a personal marketing document used to sell yourself to prospective employers. It should tell them about you, your professional history, and your ability, your skill, and your achievement. Ultimately, it should highlight why you are the best person for the job. A CV is required when applying a job. In addition to your CV, employers may also require a cover letter and completed application form. And what to include in your CV? First, name, professional title, and can take detail. This is the first thing that you have to put in your CV. The second, personal profile. Personal profile is also known as personal statement, career objective, and professional profile. The third, experience and employment history. Your employment history section gives you a chance to outline about your previous job, internship, and work experiences. And then the last is about education and qualification that you have in your life. Just mention about your institution and the date were there. You have to get your CV right, so you will get, you will find job more quickly. Your CV is your chance to make great impression and secure an interview. Okay, I give you example of the CV. Here they are. Okay, there are the example of CV or curriculum vitae. So the next thing we want to talk about application letter. Application letter. What is the definition of this? The definition is an application letter is a formal letter written to apply for a job. It is an important step towards someone's employment status. The application letter generally contains personal information and includes reasons for applying for the position. 
format of application letter. First, applicant's address consists of your name, your address, your telephone number, and your email address. Second, date consists of date, month, and year. Third, employer's address consists of employer's name, job title, company's name, and company's address. Fourth, salutation. For example, dear, dear sir, or madam. And the fifth, opening paragraph. Explain the basic reason for the application letter. Which job are you applying for? When and where did you see the position advertised? If it is not advertised, said how you got the information about the vacant position. Six, body of letter. Demonstrate confidently that your skill, background, and experience are suitable with the desired job requirements. Mention specific qualification which make you a good fit for the employee's needs. Mention how your personal skill enhance and support your technical abilities and state that you will highly regard on an opportunity to work for a company. 7. Closing paragraph. State your availability for an interview or test and include your contact number and email. And the last is 8 is closing. Consists of complementary close. For example, your sincerely, your faithfully, and then your signature and put your name on it. Let's practice. Here is the example of the vacancy in English that we want to make an application letter. Example of application letter by a paper. An example of application letter by an email. Let's identify structure of the letter. They are applicant's address, date, employee's address, salutation, opening paragraph, body of the letter, closing paragraph, and the last is closing. Okay, we begin with the first applicant's address, name, address, and phone number here. Date, you may see here, employer's address, you can see in the job vacancy too, and salutation, for example here, dear sir or madam, and opening paragraph is about the basic reason for the application letter, and the body of the letter is about your skill, background, and your experiences, and the closing paragraph is about your availability for an interview or a test, and the last is closing, consists of complementary close, signature, and name. Okay, that's all about application letter. Okay, to close this video, I just want you to do exercise about listening section to increase your listening skill. So please listen application letter and answer those questions. Just five questions, no more. And then just practice listening section and your English will be better always. Okay then, I will play to you right now. Questions number one and two refer to the following text. Dear Mr. Adamson, I would like to apply for the position of fashion designer posted on your company's website. I have attached my application letter, resume, examples of my design as you wish, and other documents for your review. 
I believe that my qualification suits the advertised position. I can be contacted at 081-413-225-456 or surtini at email.com. I look forward to hearing from you about scheduling a selection test or interview. Yours sincerely, Surtini. Questions Number 1. How did the applicant find out about the job vacancy? Number 2. Why does the applicant attach his designs? Questions number 3 to 5 refer to the following text. Dear sir or madam, I would like to express my interest in the position of mechanic for scooters in your service workshop station. I enclosed my application letter, resume, and other documents on the enclosure. I believe I am a strong candidate for the position. Please contact me at 081-413-225-456 or at dewi at email.com. Thank you for your consideration. Yours, faithfully. Dewi Questions Number 3 What position does the applicant apply for? Number 4 How does the applicant send the letter? Number 5 What will the applicant probably put as the enclosure? And here are the questions. I reveal to you if you think the sounds of question is too fast. Just practice to answer those questions whenever you're ready. And I'm sure your English will be better and better always. If you don't mind, just write down your answer in the comment below. We'll see. Your answer will be right or wrong. And don't forget to practice and learn. A new language is a new history of life. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.